Welcome to episode 14. Now, I'm pretty sure um, the theme is still sticking cl pretty close to what I'm asking for, which is, you know, concentrating on men and things that we got to do different. Well, men, I'm coming back on your side a little bit, just for a minute for us to address the situation that I'm pretty sure most of us all heard. And that's the female that considers herself the B word, you know, or, well, guys think I'm going to be a B, so I'm going to act like that. Men, I think it's our job, and I really believe we should make it a priority to question those kind of habits. Every time I've ever talked to a woman that actually said those things, well, I'm gonna, if I'm going to get treated like that, I'm going to act like that. But it also takes guys to treat a girl like that as well for her maybe to get that kind of the attitude in there. You know, maybe she's gotten involved and talked to so many guys that just that said she didn't do what they wanted. They That was the most comfortable word to call her, the most disrespectful word that I think I don't even know people can call their own mom. But we'll quickly call a female that B word, but, you know, nobody that we care. I mean, it's kind of like when I asked a friend of mine, you know, he calls his wife that, uh, the B word. And I was like, well, would you call your daughter that? Well, no. Or would you call your mom that? Well, no. Well, what's the difference? You know, they're both female. Well, it's different because they're related to me and whatnot. There's, that kind of attitude is the main reason why we're rejected as much as we are. And maybe not even given the, the common respect we probably should be due when we first meet that woman. You know, but then by the same token, guys, also change that mindset. You know, maybe maybe she calling herself out that B word really is not what she really is, more so that she just thinks that everybody sees her that way. But there's a lot of qualities she probably overlooks on her own self. So it's kind of our job to sit there and kind of break those stereotypes and open that stuff up just a little bit so that way she can't sit back and say, well, you know, I'm a B and, and whatnot. And last time I checked, most of the females we date aren't rappers. And last time I checked, most of them aren't actors and can sit there and and pump it on their MySpace page that I'm Miss B Word of the Year, and and those aren't real good things that we should support, guys. We should not support a negative aspect of a female when she herself more than likely doesn't want to be viewed that way anyway. But I guess we get comfortable in our negatives, so what we can call ourselves kind of like saying these guys. As you know, African American and whatnot, and using the N word, I'm I'm this kind of N, or or that that or this kind of word that it describes you know to the Hispanic culture or to a white culture. It doesn't really matter. Those negative things do start to chip away at the perception of yourself. You know, you ever, there's somebody once told me perception is reality. Well, if you think about that, if you call yourself that and you think yourself that, people will start referring that to you, even though that may not have nothing to do with you at all. So you got to be very careful what you accept upon yourself because you can become that thing. Or I like to say you are what you eat because that is a really true uh, proverb there because I mean, you eat bad foods, you're going to have bad health. Well, if you treat yourself badly, you're going to be treated badly. And men, I'm, I, it's, still our, it's still our job and I really mean that in the, the truest sense of the word to support our woman. Change that mindset. You know, challenge that mindset. You know, if y'all decided to do that as people, you'd be surprised what will change. You'd be surprised what will happen and what will come to pass when that woman can't rely on that negative, you know, collar that they've somebody else pinned on her or she pinned on herself. Once you challenge her and say, hey, I know you're better than that. I know you're stronger than that. I know that's just not you. And I'm really focusing on this a lot because just in the last couple of weeks, I've interviewed people, and it's just, that's the one thing I've run across with females, that, you know, guys think I'm this kind of guy, this kind of girl, so screw it, I'm going to be that kind of girl. Why? What would give that kind of comfort level to, 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 to play into that negative pressure of somebody else that doesn't even matter? Why would you let somebody that doesn't matter to you change the, the perception of yourself? It should empower you to stay the, the person that you are, to stay the positive frame, and guys, that's why I say, you know, to these females, we have to support them. We got to support their personalities. We got to support if they reject something or if they like something. We have to be supportive on all accounts. Even if you went to that club tonight and asked that girl to dance and she says no, you got to respond positively and call it, oh, you're just being a, the B word. Oh, you just whatever. Let that go. Be respectful and say, okay, that's cool, no problem, move on. Try to instill some positive energy on yourself. You'd be surprised. You might just get that dance.